If we had to define art, art is such a, a vast subject. But there are a few artists that have created their own genres, and one of those is Pablo Picasso. Painter, sculptor, printmaker, ceramist, and stage designer. So now, between what I knew and what I did not know, I present to you one of the greatest artists of all time. I present to you Pablo Picasso. So if you're ready, let's dive right into it. J'ai été impressionné, en tout cas très touché de, ce, de cette espèce de sympathie, amour, ou, ou je ne sais pas, ou amitié que et tant de gens me portent. Born in 1881 in Malaga in Spain, Picasso showed an early talent for drawing. He went to study art in Barcelona uh, and Madrid before settling in Paris in 1904, where he then spent uh, most of his life. Picasso was a true prolific artist. He made, um, during his career, over 50,000 works of art. He is best known for uh, co-founding the Cubist movement, which uh, represented a lot of his artworks, which really revolutionized uh, the art stage and the art industry. He did it by by breaking down uh, small shapes and uh, assembling them into people, um, places. Even though he was a true talented artist, he uh, actually said that he, he took a lifetime before uh, knowing how to draw like a kid. Some of his most famous works uh, include Les Demoiselles d'Avignon, or uh, Guernica, but he did so much more and it's really impressive to see. Talking about Guernica, I tried to make it myself. I don't know if you've seen my last video about Basquiat, but we could see it in uh, the background, but I'm going to just show it to you right there. I did it last year and I didn't do it as well as he did. His was uh, five meters uh, by seven meters. Mine is maybe 30 centimeters on 20 centimeters, nearly the same. Now, let's dive into some anecdotes about Picasso's life. Fact number one, in 1911, Picasso was living in Paris at the time, and uh, the Mona Lisa by da Vinci uh, was stolen, and he was brought uh, for questioning as a suspect. Despite, of course, being uh, innocent, he was kept in custody for two days. Number two, Picasso and the napkin. You maybe not know this one because not so very famous one, but when uh, Picasso was uh, at a restaurant one day, he suddenly uh, took a napkin and started drawing on it. And once he finished, he just gave it to the waiter and said uh, that should cover the bill. The napkin sold on auction later for $150,000. That must have been a very expensive meal. Number three, Picasso and the young fan. Uh, Picasso was known for not being very uh, social, social, so, so, sociable, sociable, sociable. But um, one day he met a young fan. Uh, the boy approached him and asked for an autograph. But uh, Picasso instead just took his notebook and started uh, drawing a sketch on it and signing with his name. Of course, the boy treasured this for the rest of his life. Now, number four, when Picasso was uh, often asked about his paintings, and his abstract art, he often famously replied, When I was a kid, I could draw like Raphael, but it took me a lifetime to learn to draw like a kid. Picasso was known for his love of cats, as well as James Dean too, that we talked about a few videos earlier. He had a cat called uh, Minou, who was his inspiration for many of his artworks. Now number six, uh, during World War II, where uh, Picasso lived in Paris, a German officer once went to um, his apartment and saw a um, picture of Guernica. A picture of the painting he actually made, which uh, depicts uh, the horrors of the Spanish Civil War. The officer asked Picasso if he had done that, talking about the painting. But Picasso replied, no, you did. Talking, of course, about the atrocities of the war. Now, number seven, and last anecdote I found about Picasso. There are not a lot of anecdotes about his life, even though well, there are not a lot of public ones. So last but not least, Picasso was a very talented artist, of course, but he loved to, um, he was also a talented musician. He loved to play piano and the guitar he would often um, entertain guests that came to his house with music. But he was actually also a poet. He wrote more than 300 poems in his lifetime. Once more, very prolific. Picasso's early work was um, influenced by the Spanish tradition of um, painting, including the works of El Greco and Velázquez. He also became very fond of the French Impressionist movement and was deeply in, um, inspired by the works of Paul Cézanne. As I said before, uh, Picasso co-founded the um, Cubism movement. He actually co-founded it with George Braque. And this actually broke a lot of uh, standards of the art at the time and was seen as very uh, futuristic. What you maybe know, but you don't know uh, maybe all of them, but throughout his career, Picasso had a few um, periods. He had his blue period, in which he created somber, uh, melancholic works, and his rose periods, characterized by um, brighter, more uh, happy uh, works that were inspired by pink colors. These were actually the reflection of his life at the time. The blue period was when he was having it down, and the pink period was um, supposed to be the period where he uh, went out with a lot of women. So he had a lot of romantic uh, relationships. 
He died on April 8th, 1973, at the age of 91, which is uh, very impressive after a long career. This was the story of Pablo Picasso. I really hope you like I love making these videos. As I say I, in every video, it's really great. And I often try to make them less than 10 minutes, so uh, you've got the time to watch them. So have an amazing day. I'm sure you will. See you very, very soon. Bye-bye.